And let's uh, give it a rip. Boom. Now we're going to unbox and set up your first responder bodyguard backpack. you'll notice that these are going to come with a protective coating on them so you just peel that off this one already doesn't have it on locate the um, front carrier which is usually in the main compartment next you'll just open concealment compartment rip cords will be straight the anchor cords which go around your shoulders will be laid out this way so you've got uh, the front of the chest piece here, this is the side with the pocket on it, the molly, and the agency indicator. And you on the back, another carrying section, which is for hard armor, larger hard armor, and larger soft armor. So if you have like an 11 by 14 um, piece of soft armor, this will go here. The 10 by 12 armor goes in the front pocket here. So let's set it up and size it. In the concealment chamber, there are, it's gonna be a little difficult to see, there are two anchor clips. This just slides in, literally just goes in over the clip, and then you'll be able to adjust the size accordingly on the Velcro. Now once it's set up, just get a test fit on it, so we just flip this little bad boy over. Stand up. I make sure everything is loose and open. So the first thing is to make sure the shoulder straps are snug, and you put the rapid deployment belt on. It's not completely snug yet because I want to get the chest strap in place Good. okay now there's a retention loop on here just roll this bad boy up wrap them here Good. so again nice and tight so on this, this particular model is made to be put on and deployed in a hurry. That's why we have this uh, rapid deploy belt. Now we want to check the fitment, make sure we're covering our chest. That's it. This thing is, again, it is like no fail delivery hit. So now once this feels good, we'll load it up and give it a, uh, a test pull. Loading up the front carrier. You just want to make sure that everything gets folded in here nice just so that there's no snags but to be quite honest I've stuffed this thing in here and deployed it. So once you're here we just pull the straps just to make sure that they're folded. The rip cords just go right over the shoulder straps. That's it. Close the concealment compartment. Again, 100% concealment, so this thing's loaded. You don't know, you're not gonna be able to see what's in here. You know, whether you have a firearm attached to it, the armor, anything. Now we put it on. Good. Now, once this is sized, I like to do the chest piece first. Snug on the uh, shoulder straps, and then, Put the rapid de deploy belt on. Yeah. Give it another snug. Good. Now we'll give it a little test pull. Grip. Now when you're pulling these things, just pull them straight over your head. Go as hard as you can. These things are tough. Uh, they're meant to be deployed under stress. So don't be afraid. You're not going to break it. That's it. Automatically, as soon as it strikes the, uh, uh, the rapid deploy belt, it, anchor, it stays in place. You can jump around, move around. It's not 
It's not going any place. Now we'll load it up with some water. One of the things I like to do when you're stowing this is to just set this up so it goes in the opposite side. It's just a little easier to handle around because yeah, the Velcro can get can get in the way of a lot of things. So when you're setting this up, you can just put that rapid deploy belt there. Uh, first, putting the armor in the rear in the concealment compartment. So you get protection front and back. Inside, there's a pocket. This pocket will hold a uh, 10 by 12 plate, either a hard plate or a soft plate. This is a level three plate. Any lightweight composite plate uh, that'll fit that, um, that's a 10 by uh, 12 will work fine. Again, put it in the stripe place. Think about, you wanna have this facing the back because this is where, you're, this is going into the back of your unit. It slides right in the pocket down in the concealment chamber. Right there, just sits in there, holds it in place. In front of the unit, again, strike face out in the front pocket. Sealed, done, ready to go. Again, load it up just like you did before. Make sure my uh, straps are neat. Again, it will deploy without it, but it's just a good habit to get into. Rip cords in place. Now, get on the unit. Again, getting that chest clamp clamped together, tightening everything up. Good. Now we're loaded up, and let's uh, give it a rip. Boom. Done. That's it. Again, everything's in place. You can move, maneuver. It's not going any place meant to be deployed in a hurry and stay in place. That's it. Not too complicated. Next we're going to load up the uh, hard armor. Same as before, we start with the uh, back of the unit. Again, we've got this pocket in the back, straight face facing out. front of the unit. Now, this particular unit, the first responder can go in the front with a 10 by 12, or if you have a unit that's got a little uh, different shape to it, some of these have multi-curve uh, plates. They go in the hard armor unit in the back just the pocket here. Again, strike face facing forward. Push the unit back to the base of the, of the front chest piece. Lock it in. Again, there's a couple options that you have on this. Uh, if you're using um, ICW uh, plate, which is, if you don't know what that is, that is, right now these are standalone plates, which means just the plate by itself will stop the rifle, uh, will stop rifle rounds. It's a level three standalone plate. If you've got what they call an ICW plate, which needs a level 3A in order to work with it, you can add, you can add that, that um, 3A to the front of the unit and it'll work with those units. The other thing, you can also load that extra armor in the back of the unit which is an oversized piece. You can just literally drop this in the back of your unit 
and then you can have the you know the ICW uh, rifle plate and you know even the oversized uh, level 3A plate and then your computer will still computer still fit in here and it'll still provide the protection that you need to provide. But again, loads up and deploys just the same with the uh, with the with the rifle plates as it does the soft armor. All sits in. Again, record set. Um, it's like doing the chest piece first. Just strap that in. Rip cords right here, no searching, no reaching around. Simple. Grip it. Again, with the uh, with the with the armor plates, same deployment. Give it a little tug, and it's all good to go. Uh, 